60 gigahertz we've been working on for since about 2007, 2008. I think you saw at CES, and I know a number of you wrote about the demos that we had there and the announcements. Um, basically, we're taking 60 gigahertz and just bringing it to, to be the third band of Wi-Fi. So everything you can do in 2.4 and 5, you'll be doing in 60. And obviously, there are some unique characteristics that um, provide tremendous value in 60 gigahertz, right? So you're going to go up to 4.6 gigabits per second rather than the, the couple hundred megabits per second that you're getting in the 2.4 and 5 band. Uh, extremely low latency, allowing for um, you know, basically lag-free video. Um, and we, when we were at CES, we announced pretty much all the categories that, that we're going to be shipping in. The access points, we saw TP-Link, NEC, Elecom, the PC, Acer and Asus, and the first LETV phone here. So before we do this demo, there's also the announcement that we made with Intel. So now, again, all of the products that Intel is, is putting out for, on the PC side will be interoperable with the access points that we're providing. So they, they've been talking about how they're going to open up their IP stack. So in addition to their docking, they'll be doing just traditional Wi-Fi as well. We've been working very closely to ensure that all of the products that we're doing and they're doing are, are working well together. So. Um, obviously to, to build the ecosystem there. So the two demos that we've got here is first we've got the phone and uh, we basically made it like a little media hub. This is just a reference design that these guys will be bringing to market. For all intents and purposes, that, that is a full access point and uh, video distribution. So if you look in the back of that, you can connect to it. Multiple devices can connect to it. You've got USB and you can add storage in the back of it as well. So you can move pictures and content. So it actually is a full multimedia hub rather than just a video streamer. Um, but we can do video streaming and then here we just have a speed test which is which has got the dial. So when we get to it. So basically this is this is a Yeah, so we just hit start here and we're going upwards of 2.4, 2.7 gigabits per second. Um, it's bouncing around a little bit, but you know you can see a, a maintained throughput of, of of over two gigabits per second into the phone. You guys can go closer. Yeah, far far and away, uh, you know the fastest link that you're going to get in in into the phone. And then the question is again, now that you've got this speed, what do you do with it, right? Obviously, it changes the way you can kind of handle your own personal data. You can do full phone syncs, sync and go a type of application instantaneously, uh, point of sale type of applications like kiosks. You can actually buy content and have it, you know, you get off the train station, you go, you buy content, it's on your phone by the time the next train comes. Um, and then the streaming and gaming and low latency <coughs> applications, uh, that's pretty much what we're, what we're driving here. So we're trying to hit all of the, the different pieces from end to end, from the access point to the, the client side. Um, and then, just what do you? It just, yeah. Um, other than raw speed or yeah. raw bandwidth, does uh, AD have any latency reducing features over N or AC or? No, I think well, it, it's basically because of the raw speed. There's I mean, it, 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 it is it is optimized for latency because you know it was built with you know some. Certain applications that have low, very low latency requirements, like it initially was doing some PCI Express, you know, doing wireless PCI Express, wireless USB type of applications. So it does optimize, but you know, again, once you've got the raw speed, then the, you can reduce the compression ratios and the latency just goes down. So, so it gets more than a physical layer change. Yeah. And here we just, again, we're streaming video. Uh, once again, the Snapdragon 820 platform that it's on has four, 4K video encoding and capture. So basically you could take pictures, you could take video, and then you can just put it right up on the screen or take the files, which get pretty large when you're, when you're capturing 4K video and immediately offload them. So once you're part of the, the, the 60 gigahertz network, as soon as you have this big files that you're creating, you can immediately offload them onto your home network. 